Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is to Nerds to Human, and welcome back to our Slavic campaign. And oh yes, it has been a little while since we were last here. And this is, of course, the first of our little epilogue series. We'll see how far we go with this, but I want to go and follow it up, because the Slavic campaign was a glorious one. It was incredibly difficult, it must be said. But at this stage of the game, our armies start to look a lot better. The step-heavy spearmen available at the late stages are very solid indeed. Much happier with the forces I've got now. And of course we do still have the Eastern Empire to go and roll over. Of course we did Constantinople, that's how we finished up last time. But we do have a few bits of unfinished business. Not only that, with the Romano-British who have just emerged to go and take Milton Keynes off of us, so we only have to go and deal with that, of course. They'll be attacking us on the end turn, and yeah, gold on the shield, silver on the swords. This is going to be a messy, messy affair. We are also pagans, and they've brought along some lovely monks from Lindisfarne, so it's a good idea to get in the Viking spirit and slaughter them all. That'll be, um, yeah, as I say, a messy one, an intriguing one. We need to go and mop up the Celts up in the north as well. And yes, over in the east, I can't but notice last time as we left it, the Eastern Empire started trekking towards our board with the old Rexolani territory. Um, we're standing here on the bridge with good old uh, Alof, but uh, yeah, this could be incredibly tricky. We don't really have the best army here. We have something, not the worst in the world, but uh, yeah, could be better all the same. So uh, we've got to go deal with this. Of course, the Sassanids are completely gone. If you don't remember, they died at the same time as the Western Empire. All of this is Eastern Empire. We need to update that map information just a little bit, don't we? Um, in the meantime, I do have some assassins around, so uh, very soon we'll see if we can lop off a few more heads. I'm not sure if we've got many... Ah, we've actually got a few, a few opportunities here to do a bit of killing. This is fun, isn't it? 33% um, chance. Let's start it off with a good old killing, and he's gone. Good. Death approaches. Indeed it does, sir. Yes, I think last time when we left this, we'd started lopping off heads. Um, I have a lot of them around, so we're just going to try and whittle them down. Let's just cause a few problems, burn down the Christian Basilica. You know, as we go, we're a mix of Christian and Pagan, aren't we? So uh, we'll just smash up things if we want. Let's destroy the Circus Maximus. That'd be grand. To be honest, though, probably a good idea to keep moving this direction, because... Yeah, I reckon we want to be killing a few more of them yet. So we'll send you around this way. And we'll hopefully find some more people to kill. No one just yet, but we do have a big pile of assassins. They are going to continue with that job of softening them up. We'll retrain our army over here at Tom Stantinople. And of course, we will soon head over to Ephesus. It's not very well populated, this part of the world. I would like a few more cities on Barbarian Invasion. I think some parts of the world are just a bit quiet. But I suppose the Eastern Empire might be too strong if they were to do that. But then again, the Eastern Empire can't ever be too strong. It, uh, it should be pretty darn powerful. Anyway, or, uh, nonetheless, pretty good time to end our turn. Because I suspect Romano British are going to come and slay us pretty darn soon. Indeed, here they come, and oh, I hadn't noticed this, but actually our main force is of course outside the city. So, in the city itself are just these two units here that could be problematic. So, the rest of them are reinforcements. This chap over here is going to come in, and he's not very good now, is he? No, he's not. So, we have to do the best we can with this chap, but he's not going to help us an awful lot. Their leader is... okay. Plus one morale, worth noticing, but not the best either. Fine, we need to crush them here and now while we've got the opportunity. We seem to be um, kind of opposite colours, so I don't know if that's something confusing on the battle map. Maybe it will. Obviously, I need to control this guy myself, so let's untick that. Tend to battle, and uh, yeah, this is going to be, I think, quite a messy one. Right, ho, so they have themselves one round which will, with any luck, burn down a couple of sap points. And this tower here, of course, with all the missiles coming out of the tower, I can't be anywhere near that position. I've got my men at the gate and over here, so we'll come and support if we need to. Hopefully the ram will burn down. They've picked a bit of an angle here, so that will hopefully give us time to burn it. Uh, yeah, 16% damage. These are epic walls, aren't they, at this point? So we should have no problem burning all of that down. Now, in the meantime, all these guys need to... A bit quicker than they currently are. I don't think they've realised the urgency to start getting themselves over here to support us. So if all of my cav can just immediately get themselves into this position, that would be ideal. Thank you very much, sirs. 
Ram has indeed burnt down, which means those monks are getting shot down like flies. This is magnificent. I say that. Flies are probably quite hard to shoot down, I imagine. Nonetheless, they are being slaughtered. Look at them with their ridiculous hipster beards. Yeah. There we go. See, without your man bun, you're not safe at all, are you? Right, they are slaughtered. Unfortunately, these guys are not going to be slaughtered. This tower is very much safe because we didn't put a tower right here in this corner by the gate. What's the point of an epic stone wall anyway? Oh, well, so the ballistas are not quite ready to take us down yet. So they're doing a weird wonder, which is probably a good thing. But it's a bit of time. And there we go. I have actually sent them to go charge into these arches. For some reason, have got themselves very isolated. Probably going for the sap point, but yes works in my favour. These archers were supposed to be running into the city. Where are they now? Get yourselves in here, lads. Get yourselves in there. Okay, they are sending more and more chaps into their fight. Let's get all of my cavalry into this position. This is going to be incredibly messy. Now, why they're sending archers into me, I don't know, but we'll just um, yeah, get some of these chaps into this direction. All of you, charge into them. You lads, just start wandering. Yeah, just pull these legionnaires out for us, would you? This charge should be able to deal with those archers. And it looks like the tower... Okay, the tower's still doing weird things. Just buying time for us to burn it down. The sap point is getting going. Uh, I need to disrupt those guys at some point. Okay, those cav are dealing with them. Who else have we got here? Horse archers. You need to go and tease those lads. Go and deal with that. This is a general. He can charge in as well. The you guys, yeah, the likewise, over now there, over there, over there. Children. Okay, just get yourselves on top of those legionnaires. I reckon we should be able to just smash them from all sides and hopefully crush them. Charge! Oh, they turn their backs. I do love the colours of Romano British. They are just beautiful, aren't they? Um, the sap point is starting to worry me. I really could do with not having a hole blown in the wall. Um, right, on that note, where are my reinforcements? Some of them have got this far. Keep on running inside the walls, my friends. Get yourself over here pronto. Actually, get yourselves to this position because I might need you to just run up that tower. We will see about all of that. Now, if they're up there, we then need to get these guys over here. These guys over here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We can't afford to waste our time with that. Now, as for everyone else... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. They've grown night, ladies and gents. Roll Knights, which um, could be a big problem, actually. Could be a big problem indeed. Now, I want these guys... Oh, they're already charging us. They are already charging us. General and the Step Hordes. I need you to hit these guys, and probably pretty hard. Yes. Okay. No, we blocked our own charge. General, get yourself into here. I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this at all. Can we disrupt this? We're a little bit too close for all of that. We do have some units over there. These step raiders have gone the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. You can join. You can join us over here, lads. That's absolutely fine. You form a line up with these infantry who are coming in this direction. They are going to form a position about there. Everybody running, please. At this point, the Grow Knights, are they going to slaughter us? I think they will, actually. There's a Warlord and some Grow Knights. I'm in big trouble. Um, I think I need all these units just to pile in, actually. All my cab just needs to pile in. You are getting yourself stuck when I really don't want it. Get into their flank. Actually, you, sir, get around the back. Get around the back. I said around the back. There go the Grill Knights. That is good. That is good. One unit of those chaps are hunted down. And there goes their general as well. There he goes. Oh, that might just be a second warlord. No, that's the general. That is the general. Good. Good. Good, good. Right, pull out. Don't want to charge into all of these guys at once. That could go badly for us. Frederati are in this direction. Right, and these Grow Knights are coming back on top of us, so we're just going to have to pile onto them. It could cause problems, but we seem to be isolating enough of their cavalry at once. I'm going to pick all of this off. What I don't want is these coastal let oh, The coastal aren't that good, but they plenty of support in theory, don't they? Right, the tower is doing a good job on them. Sat points. Not sure what's going on with the sat point, if I'm honest with you. They've sent monks up the top of the tower. Oh, let's watch this. Forget the Grell Knights. Look at the monks. Yes! Praise be! Praise be to Allah. We have got the walls and we are dead. And uh, they're probably not praising to Allah at all, are they? 
Um, okay, this has become more problematic. More and more problematic. Get yourself out of there! Warlord 24. I thought they only one Warlord. Where does this second Warlord come from? Right, Cav, get yourself out of there right now. You guys should be on defensive, if I'm honest, chaps. Just get yourself back into position. You seem to be in a good place. All these archers, these three, they haven't done anything useful yet. They're supposed to be somewhere helpful. Okay, let's get them into a position where they can help out. One of you up here. One of you... Yeah, we can continue moving them around the wall here. That would actually be ideal. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is grand. Okay, all of those chaps can get running. That'll be good for us. These infantry are probably pretty knackered, but I think I need them to get up here. So you go and do that, you go and do this. These guys are getting shot down by something. I'm not really sure what at this point. My cav are in all sorts of confusing problems. Let's just pull out of the infantry. We don't need to keep them in this battle. What I'd like to do actually is kind of pull myself around over towards my own infantry. That is probably a good idea. Right, nobles, you get on top of them, finish them off. We should hopefully surround this general, take him out. What a messy, messy affair this currently is. Um, yeah, they're, they're gone. Get on top of those coastal levees. That general is surrounded. Actually, no, they look like archers. Are they archers? The Fusilari. Yeah, charge them down. That should be the general. That should be him gone. Death and violence comes to you, my friend, and he is slaughtered. Why there was no message about it, I don't know. Probably could do with some support into these legionnaires because they are pretty darn solid. Yeah, so you, sir. Ah, you're gonna get yourself stuck, aren't you? Right, all of you, just get yourselves over here at this point. That'd be absolutely fine. Uh, you get yourselves around the back. Looks like that sap point has stopped doing anything useful. Oh, they've broken the moment that I started this. Okay, um, that's fine. You guys hit those British Legionnaires. They're not going to like the surround that's about to happen. Their Japanese are coming in, but so are the cavalry. Sort of not quite as quickly as I anticipated. But they're there. One day. One day soon. Any time, lads. Get a bit tired. It's not a very quick charge, but there we go. There's the round. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, more and more men getting slaughtered. Over here we have some infantry, which is fine. To be honest, those guys are a little bit dead, aren't they? 47 is okay. That's... Yeah, we'll just put you on the end there. That'll be absolutely fine. Raiders are happy enough, and the rest of us are slowly in into position. Over here, this tower... They sent legionnaires up here. They have indeed. Anytime you want to like shoot them, that'd be perfect. Because yeah, they're now routing, which isn't great. You come and support us, please. You come and support us, please. Are the archers running? They should be running. They aren't running. That was probably my fault. Okay. Um. What? What? To... Okay. We we clearly don't know how to horse. So there we go. Here's the horsing. Horses, get out of there before the horsing starts going wrong. Um, Legionnaires are happy just getting themselves murdered over there. That's good for us. You shoot... Actually, no. You shoot those ones in the back. We're going to send these guys around here. Uh, my general needs to be careful at this point because he's getting himself pretty low on health. So I'm going to send him over here just to support these chappies. Those guys are fighting to the death on the wall. That is not a problem. These chaps, you just charge into them. You charge into them. And the horse archers can just do their job causing lots of pestilence. Pestilence, that's um, the wrong word. Anyway, causing all the pestilence, we are our barbarian horde, so that is exactly what we do. Now over here, we have got uh, routing, which isn't ideal, but this general is still fighting. Now these archers, you are getting yourself up there. That is good, that is, yep, yeah, that's dead. my warlord. Well I'm sure they'll be fine, sir, another warlord. How many warlords do they have? Did I just miss all of their warlords in their army over there? Very strange indeed. Right, you, yep, yeah, skirmish back on, please. Skirmish back on. Right, at this stage, we have a few of these chaps who can charge at those coastal levees just to mop them up. That is good indeed. Now as for these chaps, oh, there is a, there are some men over there who are causing us some problems. Let's just charge a general in, he can do that for the time being. 
these coastal levees are just about cleared out. Fine, we've just uh, almost won the battle, he says, as we, um, we've we lost the tower. Or near that they're all... I hate fighting on the walls, honestly, ladies and gents. It is absolutely the worst. Right, you come and get some shots into these guys. Just some flaming shots from as far away as you can possibly manage. That would be ideal. Step nobles, what can we do? I think... What do we need to get done here? I think we need all of our cav to just start getting themselves... Yeah, somewhere near there, General, and try and finish him off, actually, at this point. We don't have an awful lot of infantry in this position over here. Which isn't ideal, but we can get it... Yeah, let's just bring this over here so we can start shooting down all of that general unit. That'd be grand. Okay, bring yourself into that position. We'll be absolutely fine. At this stage, the flaming arrows should be trying to deal with these coastal levies. There's not a lot left of these chaps on the balls. We have one final unit that should be should be climbing the tower. Please get yourselves up there and take on the coastal levies. General is indeed now taking the bait. I say bait as if um. We know what we're doing here. We really don't. Guys, get off skirm skir skirmish. No, you're not supposed you're not supposed to chuck. You literally were not supposed to charge at all. Okay. Um, not ideal. That's fine. Uh, we're going to pull him in to this area. Oh, that's, this should actually work, actually. Okay. All of these units on top of them, please. That should pretty much be what we need at this point. Get on top of that warlord charging from behind. You're going to get stuck on a sap point. That should slow him down the sap point. They've actually broken. But that is good. Look, 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 look. All of this. All of the nonsense. The general is getting himself piled in from all sides. He's broken our men instantly because they're useless cretins. But that aside, all is good. Uh, these guys are running out because I apparently selected the wrong unit. Um... Are they trying to climb up the tower to take them on? I think they might be. Anyway, it's just the general at this point. Seems that everyone else has got... We've all broken! <laughs> oh, that is absolutely ludicrous. But everyone apart from these 28 spearmen have decided to run away. These archers are very bravely fighting on, but they should have been very well protected. They are not anymore. No! My three experienced archers! No! Right, all, all men on this warlord. Here's the victory. Utter disgrace, the lot of you. He's going to get away now. Right, he's not because there goes the arrow. Ah, oh, marvellous. One unit at the back there. There goes the sap point. That wasn't hard, was it? Can we just literally poke it? Is that all we need to do? Oh, there we are. So, um, what an unnecessary loss of life at the end there because everyone decided to rout for no good reason. We'll mop up what's left. Darn British, eh? Who can trust him? Just about cleared them out without too many painful problems then. Gundy and I having a chat. This boat battle is not going to go well. We have no control over the sea, ladies and gents. That is definitely fair to say. Now, where are you, sir? We'll take you. Why not? I have no idea where you are. Faction destroyed. And they lasted long, didn't they? Ah, Remarkly British are gone, ladies and gentlemen. And that means we can slightly re... Well, yeah, just rechart six. Six men left in the original force of Milton Keynes. Amazing. So, good old cork and port. We can leave some of the troops in there. That's actually not too miserable. Surprisingly not miserable. Let's see how many steps we do we need. Just a few to keep that happy. We'll send this army onwards. I don't think North Africa will stand much of a chance. But in the meantime... Uh, we're getting a boat or two. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Getting a warlord over here. That probably is a bad idea because God knows we don't need it right now. And we'll get a spy instead. You know, a couple of spies would be a good plan. A bit like in Civ, always good to keep something one turn from completion just to, uh, you know, to turn the screw if we need it. Death stops the land. Someone's diseased. Oh, oh yeah, of course. This disease when we took it. Well, you can go on a little exile, sir. Go enjoy the forests. Um, have a nice time. It'll be grand. Otherwise, not a lot seems to be going on. What we need to do, I suppose, is just plot, plot how we can deal with the east. So, what I have been doing across all these towns, just start to get some troops sorted out, so I can send some spare units off in this kind of a direction. To be honest with you, probably a good idea to send some in the northern direction because, yeah, they're heading, 
heading north to the next river crossing, which isn't ideal. So I think we're going to need some reinforcements in this part of the world. So good thing that we've got a few men around here, just trying to build up the forces. We'll keep a few of these guys standing on the bridges just to make sure we're safe. And we need spies in all these towns just because this is barbarian invasion and everyone hates you. But more importantly, more importantly, time to head into Assassin Land. So I'm sure there'll be some fun that we can have around Antioch. Surely, faction a two percent chance. We missed. That's not really surprising, is it? Oh well, we'll keep plodding along. Won't worry about that for the time being. Antioch, hundred percent chance of getting into there. Nothing too interesting, but we might as well keep you there in the meantime. So smash up the Circus Maximus whilst we're here. Head on to Tarsus, and we'll smash up the other barracks next turn. Just keep them all very much busy. So heading to that, we can see Sinope as well as Caesarea. That is good. And now, yeah, back over towards Cates. Doesn't look like there's anything of interest here, sadly. No one to kill, so a bit of training is probably a good idea. Didn't gain any experience, which is a bit of a shame, but we'll just move on to our tax turn. Update up, date up mapping itself as it goes. There we are. Um... Yeah, the, the dyslexia in my brain is just singing through right now, isn't it? Fine. All right, well, Eastern Empire Rebels popped up, which is very good news indeed. Just something else to distract them. Lots of building going on, lots of troops getting recruited, and quite frankly, not a lot else of interest. Right, I'm going to get myself organised, hopefully, I'll smash into the Eastern Empire pretty soon. Can't help but notice that this army is sitting here just a little bit vulnerable right now. Um, this army's a bit too strong for them, I imagine. So we're just going to wander our armies up in this direction. Have a little feel for the lay of the land. Now, no cavalry whatsoever. In fact, only a couple short-range units. So we could probably just get our cavalry into battle here. In fact, I think that's what we'll do. Just send in the horse archers to do the job. There should be some more. Ah, just got a glass of that's a shame. But uh, I'll take them nonetheless. So, a few more reinforcements over there. Do we have any more cavalry? We do, actually. I'm sure we can still face him if we've got those in the army. Sadly, we can't. You'll have to stay back, sir. So, leaving those lads behind, let's head in with these cavs. 400 against 1,000, but frankly, with all the horse arch, we should be able to drown them in arrows. The gallo glasses are powerful, they hit hard, but no shield at all. So we're now like 10 on defense skill, but yeah, no shield. So Ari should be able to slaughter those guys as well as the rest of them. This should work in our favor. If not else, we've got ourselves a nice heavy cab to finish them off. Let's go and slaughter us some Celts. We do actually have ourselves a big juicy hill here. Unfortunately though, we are the attackers. They're probably not gonna come and get themselves shot. So we we'll have to go and run over to them instead. Let's just take all of these guys out to one flank. Might as well use the horse archers to do their horsing work first. And we'll bring in the rest of the guys later. Aha, they're going for a little jog towards us at this point, which is good news indeed. So, their kerns are going to come closer. Throw in a javelin or two. We'll just run ourselves away. Somehow we've all managed, managed to get some guild, which I don't know how we've done. Uh, just shoot them down, please. Shoot them down. Indeed, we can really just charge them, actually. These guys are pretty weak. So, uh, yeah, just give them a charge. Just give them a charge. Uh, if they're not too close to the spear, maybe we might as well just take them out. Now, as the rest of them, they are starting to wander. So we can go and take these guys as they appear. Probably not worth hitting these guys at this point. We'll just continue to shoot them down. Yeah, the kerns are pretty much gone at this point. We lost one man, but that aside... All working out pretty well. Hit these British spearmen, please, actually, whilst they're running around. Uh, yeah, non-shield side as well. So that's good. They're not going to enjoy that. Do you know their coloration, though? Not a bad bit of colour. It's like the Mexican national team. Lovely stuff. Um, so, a bit further onwards. Keep shooting them into their non-shield side. These guys are actually squaring up to us a little bit. They're, um... Okay, they're, they're shaking, actually. They're shaking, which is good news. I wasn't sure how well they would take that. Because sometimes the morale with our troops does just collapse. But we're good archers. We'll be fine. Gallic glasses are coming forward at this point, And whilst they are fearsome, look at their green capes. Just beautiful. Anyone, though, who has a cape will know that you'll get sucked into a plane eventually. And that is indeed what will um, 
metaphorically happened to them anyway. So, let us just go on to skirmish. Pull yourselves out of there, lads. Thank you very much. Uh, likewise, these guys back onto skirmish. Just do the job yourself, to be honest. You don't really need me. I don't even know why I'm here. They get increasingly pulled apart here. We're now into their flanks, into their rears, and they cannot be happy about any of this. This unit, though, is potentially going to get themselves in trouble if they're not careful. So we'll just make sure that um, we're sensible with all of that. But yeah, as long as they still got skirmish on, we'll be absolutely fine. Arrows are starting to run a little bit dry. So probably a good time to start bringing in uh, spare cav here. What have we got? Their picture spearmen annoying me. But tell you what, we'll send the general in to flank them. That'll be absolutely fine. The rest of you chaps, pick your target for the meantime. Glow glasses are probably a good choice, to be honest with you. Picture spearmen. You know what? You guys just hit him in the flank. We'll finish those chaps off. Some of you were way up in the distance in some kind of glasses, weren't you? No idea where we are anymore. Someone's lost in the distance. Where are you? Ah, over there. Go deal with those picture spearmen who appear to be routing. And we'll put your skirmish back on because that would have gone badly. Uh, the enemy was that me? Now no, that's their general. Okay, really should have paid attack, attention to attack. that particular charge. Uh, yeah, let's get the girl knights and our nobles onwards. Let's just tell them to charge there, although I'm not convinced that's necessarily a good plan. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on all of this as it happens. So you are Gallo Glasses. You know what? These two chaps are probably better off hitting them. So you go and do that job. They just spearmen are probably going to take up a nice defensive shiltrum at this point, which means we just stop bothering to charge you down. Good! Good, 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 good. Oh, they don't know how to play this game, do they? Guy glasses are running backwards, and now they are being hit in the flank. Marvellous stuff. We pretty shot our own horse there in an attempt to clear them out. But all is absolutely fine. Where are my other lads over in the distance? They have apparently done the job, just about anyway. Um, you know what? Don't clear out those Ghana glasses just yet. Are they... Let's see how happy they are or unhappy they are. I'm not actually sure if they're close to routing or not. They are shaking and exhausted. Okay, we'll just give them a charge. They'll probably break. We'll lose one or two men here. But with four experience, we should be okay. There we go. We, we did lose a couple, but uh, that is them cleared out, which is good news indeed. Right, the rest of us, looks like we're just mopping up at this point. I don't actually know where the rest of their men are. Uh, must be somewhere. Yeah, all of the horse archers, apart from those chaps, are now just shooting these guys down. That is marvellous news. In fact... We're actually in a bit of a pickle here because we're out of arrows. <laughs> so we'll just stand around them. Um, these guys are okay. Ah, there are the slingers. General, 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 general. Grow knights, you get yourselves in here as well. This is good news indeed. The last couple of units have emerged. Heroic victory. I wouldn't quite say it was that heroic. We just shot them from a distance. But there we go. Uh, efficient, efficient slaughter as ever would be the British way. I said the British way in planes, the Slavs, of course. Um, but there we are. You mix a bit of British with Slavic, and then you have the dream combination. Marvellous stuff. So, you, sir, keep yourself in our part of the world. Let's get the horse onto the end there. That would be perfect. Our army is now back to... Oh, no, it's not. Um, we need... We need the actual infantry, lads. That would be perfect. Thank you. There we go. There's our full army. And the reinforcements who will get themselves slaughtered should they want to get themselves in battle. So I'm just going to pull those chaps back. These guys, I'm not sure we're going to need them actually. We might do, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Oh no, Sigurdbird, the executioner. Ah, uh, the man who has finished off the campaign has now passed away. But um, that's fine. I feel like sometimes that's yes. the way it's General. supposed to go. General. Now, we have actually did just land over in Anatolia and ready for the attack but perhaps it was one step too far for the man perhaps he did the old german thing and just yeah it was a bit too heavily armored and just drowned himself across the sea who knows what officially happened nonetheless we have as a new faction leader who is Dietrich. uh he sounds suitably germanic after that last comment there um interesting he's over in tom santanople anyway he's 59 he's about to die probably should um sort it out the faction tree actually so uh, i think i'll have to figure out who I'm going to put in place next. Anyway, a uh, bit of sabotage. Oh, that's lovely. He destroyed an urban barracks. That's good news. Now, as for the rest of the assassination, we'll have to keep on finding more and more men to lock the heads off of. 
Glory. Fortunately, he missed, and he gets a decrease, which is a bit sad. He's lost cut through, which means he's absolutely I useless. Now, as for this, we can't do very much against a Quinkerine, yeah, so we're just going to have to flee. Uh, no armies on the boats. No armies on the boat. So, uh, yeah, camp is just north of Rostov. Probably needs to just bide its time and no wait for these reinforcements to come and join up. Yes, a couple mercenary horses. That will be perfect. Good news. Okay, we're going to continue to resupply this area and indeed in the north of the Celts, oh, they're standing outside the town. They are standing in that most uh, beautiful, beautiful positions. Just awkwardly and beautifully. So, um, I would quite like to get into this battle, but Awaiting your command. in many ways, in many ways, um, I could just bribe them. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I don't really have the money to do that. We'll give them a turn, because actually I wouldn't mind getting this force over there to come and help out of all that nonsense. So since we can't retrain some of you, we will leave some of you behind. There we go, that's absolutely fine. And... Okay, we're just gonna not quite land. Blockade the port and we'll leave the army there ready. Can we take out one of their men? 9% chance on the faction there. Worth a go. He's missed. Useless. Absolutely useless. Okay, we'll, um, we'll wait another moment or two for that. In the meantime, let's go down to some Spain where Mr. Plague Man has lost the plague, which is very, very good indeed. I'm just going to ignore those rebels for the time being. In fact, let's just poke them out of the way. We'll deal with those of the force that is left afterwards. Probably time to head across into Africa, so we've got ourselves several troops ready to come and land. But it seems like they've got a little welcome party for us, which uh, I don't think is going to go very well for them because we very much outnumber them. So in we go. Go and slaughter those chappies. They are dealt with. And with that, it's time to land now. What armies do we have? You, sir, and the other lad. Now, this is the better army, isn't it? There we go. Ooh, they're standing outside. Let's go and lay siege to it like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, um, that's good. That boat can come around here and do all that nonsense. In fact, we do have some agents along here. So, what do I want to do? Let's have one of the spies come back over here. Just to make sure we know what's going on. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, possibly could afford this three more. Well, I guess like we have a battle on our hands. This chap over here is going to have to block yes. the way. In fact, ooh, we could do a little ambush. Yeah, ambush. Oh, we're out of money. Um, could probably do with some extra money for this, actually. Um, 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 um. Now, they are a bit battered. There's a few units who have taken damage, but they've got a lot of experience as well. And they've got a barbarian noble cav as well. So... Perhaps I need to find where I'm wasting some money on troops, where I can perhaps hire something else. Where am I wasting my money? Okay, just demolished the wrong barracks, which was getting built, so sod all of that nonsense, and yes, we'll have all of these guys instead. So we're going to have ourselves a lovely juicy ambush over here. That'll be magnificent. Let's get a closer look at that army. It's a bit of a tone coat, blah, 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 incompetent attacker. That's good, but um, to be honest, we're likely to be pouncing on him if anything so we could actually attack this guy as well and draw them into the battle probably a better plan actually yes we might go for that you can see some of their later units here we haven't seen these when we faced them the first time around chosen archer chosen axeman magnificent stuff right our forces are slowly getting themselves together in that part of the world more importantly though is the end of the celts now i've sent around my force from dara over here they've looped round the mountains and now are ready to head in so what do we want to do i think we want to take this army and just go and smash them up now these guys are obviously going to have to be ai controlled i'm not worried about any of that nonsense what i want to do is take out these guys so they've got themselves one unit of chariots and that's it wolfhounds why uh why the guy i don't know why the picture's like that on there but this is a lovely little pup beautiful but uh yeah you might have to take them out unfortunately We'll just take out their owners, hopefully we'll have to deal with them. Only one unit of Berserkers, or the Hounds of Kulan, no trouble there. That's the reinforcement force, another Hound chap. And faction leader, faction heir. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Okay, even if we don't 
finish them off here, we can at least take out the faction by murdering those two. So uh, that could be glorious. No night attack. You want to face them all out here right now. So let's head in. Let's finish off the Celts. Straight away then we can see our reinforcements coming in at one flank, which is very good news indeed. So what I want to do is get all of my horse archers out to the other flank, and we can eventually encircle and finish them off. Their reinforcements are back there from the town. I have to worry about those immediately. But yeah, we should probably just try and get these guys shuffling forward slightly. So, keep moving up towards them. And then the archers will be in range pretty darn soon. What's over on this side? They're just spearmen. Okay, that's not a problem. We'll just see what we can do in terms of picking them off. Where's the best unit to try and slaughter early on? Were there chariots or over on that flank? That's fine. My allies should take care of those. Uh, archers are already in range. These guys are just phenomenally good. Uh, I must say, earlier on in this campaign, I've been abusing how bad the units were. And certainly, certainly when you've got poor infrastructure, they are pretty shoddy. They fall apart without too many problems. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing the Berbers more recently. The uh, the Slavs are brilliant, frankly, because the Berbers are just so terrible. Even like their, even their cavalry just collapse. It's ridiculous. So these guys are great. They've got, um, I say great, they haven't got like the chariots or the berserkers or any of that stuff, or even the ballista chariots, who are lovely. Uh, they've only got poor boats. But what they do have is... Um, I don't know, just a nice variety. They have a good selection of units, I think. So I kind of enjoy the fact that you have yourself some pretty solid swords, have yourself some lovely, lovely spearmen at the high, high tiers. Uh, some great archers. Is that their chariot the gone? Way. Indeed it is. Marvellous stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't know. They've got just got a decent spread, really. The, the, the cav are decent. The nobles will do the job, so I don't know. I like the variety. There's just enough for, to make me happy, but you do need to get to the high tiers of infrastructure. We'll just start making these guys in any way decent or worth. Are they just fleeing? They are just fleeing. That's really annoying. Okay. Um, right. You guys just fly forward into that position, and at this point, then we need to try and pick off some of these. Where are those hounds of Kulan? Kerns, Slingers, Galaglasses, let's get the glasses. and what else is there? We should probably focus on our half of the battlefield here. Um, what can we get? Druids. Yeah, perhaps it's just uh, plough forward, catch the Druid. Right, horse archers, get yourself into those Kerns, just start flying forward. We're going to get rid of at least this second army, I would think. That'll be ideal for us. These chaps are pretty near the edge of the battlefield. That warlord is leaving. Bit of a shame. I was hoping to kill them in one big showdown here. But nonetheless, we'll be able to get some good shots in. Now, um, these chaps over here. I reckon if I can just get you on top of that hill, you'll get some lovely shots in. And as for the infantry, they can just charge at whatever I can click on. Because... Yeah, this is all probably just about done at this point. So, they are all completely melting. Just get on top of them. Yeah, they're all gone. They're all gone. Those kerns as well. It's just a mopping up job at this point, isn't it, really? Uh, where is my general? He's just plowing through the there. The like get the druids. The get those druids. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay. Um, now, with these guys largely cleared out, in a pretty good position. You keep moving forward onto those slingers. We need to just mop them all up. Um, let's get a couple of you units over here just to make sure that we can get everyone before they all flee. Why are you Cantabrian in? Just go and kill them all. Ridiculous chaps. Okay, General, likewise, you move yourself over here. We are in a bit of an odd position for spearmen up. They're all melting anyway. It's all absolutely fine. The victory is officially ours at this point. No one is left fighting, which means... Yeah, just get on top of them. Slaughter them all. Sadly, we couldn't take up both armies at once, but I am enjoying the barbarian victory music here in the background. Marvellous stuff. Especially when it gets the Celts extra juicy there. But only 70 losses for us, so uh, pretty successful things considered. Push them back into the city. Um, I guess we'll just have to do it the, uh, the painful way, I suppose. But that's okay. I don't mind. This army... Yeah, these armies haven't really got anything else to do at this point. So we'll just get ourselves a big pile of equipment. You can do the same. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
So, with that all dealt with, Del Raider will soon fall. All is marvellous. North Africa is looking interesting. Hoping that trap will work on the end turn here. If we go put a watchtower on Sardinia, I think you can get one on there. So, uh, I'm going to go and get myself a boat to make sure we've done that. You're the new general, aren't you, who's just pagan and uh, nothing else. So, I guess your job can be to go and deliver those troops. Elsewhere, over in Remus, we should probably be getting more of, of these uh, spearmen out because we can't get them in a huge amount of places in the Empire. So we'll just start sending facts. No, let's just start sending them over to go old Lecce down in the south. Um, yeah, normal tax rate. Oh, that's fine. We can send more. It's all absolutely fine. Right, send those two as well. All will be grand. So as we send those over... We can just finish up with... Ooh, let's get some Mountainarian Priests. I'm sure we have a few of those in our towns. Lovely, lovely stuff. Okay, um, probably get some other units out of here as well. Yeah, there's a few cav. Tell you what, sir. Let's just charge into these guys. Take them out. Lost a couple men. Absolutely fine. You keep moving over to Thessalonica. Thessaloniki has itself a uh, future. Oh, yes, of course, this chap. He's been clearing out rebels on his way down here, hasn't he? He's got himself a nice army. Don't really have any boats. No real point of building a fleet, I think. So uh, I won't really worry about it. However, what I will do is uh, just make sure we get them across the water. So uh, walk them over to Tom Santanople is probably the best plan. So yeah, he needs to turn to rest and then we'll be fine. As for Ankara, that is now under siege. Should probably go and knock them out all three units of first cohort committed tenses that uh, isn't likely to end too well is it um wonder what the game thinks of that we're gonna lose a lot wow that is amazing auto resolve <laughs> wow that was that was truly something wasn't it heroic death there for two of the chaps and a huge army in galicia well, there we go. Never auto resolve, ladies and gents. It's yes. fine. We've got more armies where they came from. Uh, although there was some good experience on there. I think there was some gold. Uh, <laughs> God, Chevron horses there. Uh, oh, magnificent. Right, well, won't be doing that again. I mean, I did just say, let's look at how ridiculously awful this is. And immediately, it was indeed awful. Interesting. They seem to walk around the ambush, which is unfortunate. So, uh, looks like we're going to be surrounded. We're going to have to take on these guys and then deal with those behind us. So, um, you know what? I might just snipe those off as they walk into the battlefield, actually. That could work. Yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that indeed. So, you can snipe off the reinforcements pretty quickly. Um, oof, some chosen axemen. They are just delicious, aren't they? But, uh, yeah, we'll have them on toast. That'll be no problem. And I think just pouncing on them in the corner will be fine. This army, though, is potentially problematic. I reckon horse archers are the main difference here. We can do a lot of pestering before they manage to turn up. Now, Burgundian Lancers uh, and the Noble Cav. Yeah, we can shoot those down horse archers. We have enough Cav to hopefully just swarm them as well. Okay, I reckon we've got a good chance here, but uh, yeah, tricky tricky battle here. It's important to start then we're going to pounce on these guys in the corner as they enter the battlefield. We need to snipe them off nice and quickly of course so that we can then move on to the rest of the battle. Cavalry are just running themselves out here just to see if it pulls out a unit or two. Uh, their general are wandering off in that direction. Okay those beginning cavalry need to get themselves pounced on by us. I reckon these guys aren't going to do too well, actually, if we just pounce on them. So let's go and charge into those archers. That will be magnificent. Hopefully, uh, they won't cause too many problems, because they might do. We are getting ourselves a little bit trapped in the corner here. It's just feeling secure in the hill. I'm so sure about all of that. Now, with these guys having cleared them off, probably a moment to try and pick a quick target. Indeed, we've dealt with those chaps. Good, 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 good. Okay, shoot, shoot into that Chosen Warlord, get on top of them, get on top of them. General, you charge yourself around there. Spear Warband, just get out of there, please. Oh, good. We've got plenty of men on top of them. That's done the job. Perfect, right. Um, um, uh, these guys are going to get themselves caught because I'm a bit late at giving the order here. Oh, we've got away with that one. Probably because too many of theirs routed before it even happened. Now, though... 
good chance to just pounce all of the cav onto him. Good. This is done. This is already done, which is ideal. We do need to go and turn our men around at this point. So all infantry, apart from this slightly damaged unit, let's try and figure out how we're going to rejig this position-wise. Just get ourselves up here, maybe, just in the short term, and the archers can follow in behind. That will be magnificent. These chaps can just spread themselves thin as an extra unit. Good. Right, Warlord, you can join us as well. Everyone else, just pounce on top of this guy over here. We need to just drown him in units. Cavalry, you should be able to catch him as he flees here. Yeah, come on. We should be on top of him. If you don't catch him here, I'll be livid. He's getting away. That is so annoying. Well done, lads. Oh, well, it's fine. We've done the job. That's the main thing. Um, now, these guys... Can you get yourself back into this kind of a position, just behind the lines? So the horse archers, they need to cut forward and do their job right now. So, you guys just head over to that little patch over there. Make it quick, if I'm honest, because we are looking pretty thin on the ground right now. The enemy flee from the field yes. like frightened gods. Hunt them down and slay them all. Just reposition ourselves a bit further up on this hill over here. I think that's a good plan. It looks like that warlord is uh, at the moment getting themselves lots and lots of shots in the rear with our archers, which obviously they're taking a few losses here. There we go, start to go down. The hit points are quickly diminishing the big pile of archers. That is just lovely. Wait, where did you come from? <laughs> when were the Burgundian lances over here? Okay, Ordal Cab, get on top of those Burgundian lances right now. Just run into them. Lovely. Uh, and these spears, just kind of... Just do this, please. Just kind of cover us. Um, okay, there's there's more than I thought. Do I need my... I need these horses to get over here now. Get over here now. Get over here right now. Um, I have no idea what's actually going on with these chaps. Okay, we're just going to try and pounce on them while we have an opportunity here. I think these guys can move back into their normal formation. That's absolutely fine. Um, right, this is an interesting little affair right now, isn't it? You guys, get yourselves over there. Pull out of the way. Pull out of the way. Okay, horse archers are horse archering around. That's absolutely fine. Let's put them on skirmish because I'm about to forget what I'm doing over on that side of the battlefield. Indian lances. Why did I just send them away? Uh, you guys, just charge, 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 charge. Charge! Block them, block them, block them, block them. About four horses got thrown. They probably killed all of them. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is fun, isn't it? This is a bit more manic than I was anticipating. They're being quite aggressive here. I don't like it when the AI is aggressive in this game. It makes life difficult. Okay, I've got too many archers and not enough infantry to protect them. Which suggests that, um, yeah, the odd, the odd charge here or there would be very helpful. Um, okay, infantry is hitting us at this position. That's fine. Get in that calf. Sheer numbers will win the day. Um, you also get across. You. Uh, they are actually mainly breaking there. So we're going to charge over there. And these guys, I reckon, actually are needed over in this area slightly more than over there. Good. Good. Uh, right, get into the infantry. Get into the infantry. Particularly you two chaps, you need to actually properly get into that infantry. That'd be fine. Horse archers are starting to get on top of them. Uh, just pull them out of there. They don't want too much hand to hand. They're actually pretty solid at it, but it's not ideally what I want them to be doing. Horse women over there, likewise. As for these cav. Yeah, let's just pull them out to the flank. You guys just get out of there for the short term. Archers. Oof. Yeah, archers are just going to have to keep shooting at those at the back. They're very slow archers, but they're not going to stand up in a fight for very long. Oh, where's the charge, lads? You completely fluffed it. Get in there! The sheer numbers now will just pile it into the flank, and it should be all of that over. They're breaking over here. Let's just send these small units to go and chase them down. Um, just charge, please. 
Um, you guys, you guys are literally useless other than that kind of thing. So you just run off after them. You won't catch them, but that's fine. And you two chaps come in and help us with those nobles over there. That would very much help me because they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna cause all sorts of problems. Ugh! I wanted to stop that. Oh, they're gone. They're gone. Thank Jeebus. That is good news indeed. All, all of my missiles, please. Shoot into that guy. Apart from you, chaps, who need to be into them. Right, all of you, get on top, get on top, get on top, get on top, get on top. They are trying to run away. That is fine. The horse archers are already on the general. We should catch him. They're starting to rout. Most of them are routed. They've routed. They're all completely routed. What are you doing? Oh, my horse archers. You were so close. Missiles, shoot them down. All missiles, just get on top of him. All cavalry, get on top of him. That's basically all that's left at this point. Um, infantry, come and guard us, whatever's left of you. There we are, the king's a coward. He's fleeing, and that is officially victory. Um, that's not a problem. That's fine. Yeah, most of this is just simple and sort at this point. Unfortunately, our lads have fled, and I don't think we're going to get a last sneaky arrow into his back. Come on, I can hear a volley. Ah, oh, so sad. Okay, we've taken some heavy losses here, but are they surprising? Because, uh, yeah, only one of the two forces are actually fighting at this point. So, we have ourselves a second army to go and mop this up. This should be... Oh, wait a minute. They're going to hoard, aren't they? Uh, it's the last town, isn't it? I did not even think about the horde problem. Um, okay, all miss up. All missiles, please just stop. It's officially a heroic victory for us there, which is magnificent news. Good old Genna board with his victories. Uh, 500 odd lost. Yeah, we certainly did lose a lot, but in the end, I'm kind of happy about that. We've done enough damage, I think. Oh, goody, 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 good news here then. Captain Focas has decided to... Oh, we're going to lose so badly. Oh, my. Okay. Um, yeah, here's a here's a loss for us. We need to go and sort out uh, this northeast of the Empire because it's going to be problematic very soon. I reckon there's a couple different ways that we're going to win this. Now, number one, we will try and block under the bridge here, try and funnel them and make sure that we shoot them as many arrows as possible. Obviously, we're going to be on flaming missile. The other thing is that, well, yeah, most of these uh, mercenary horse archers I've got here can't swim, which is very annoying. They're not the Berbers will ever again. But my horse archers can. So that's something. But it means only one unit's now across the river. So that at least might distract one unit. Um, otherwise, we're just going to have to wait for the second wind, which will be, yeah, once they've killed us the first time, we are probably going to want to, uh, yeah, fall back and shoot them down from there. So they've got some eastern archers who really need to be going down right now. So let's just get those eastern archers whilst we have an opportunity to do so. You two start shooting fire. Oh, they've got first cohort at the front. That's not good. Just kill three of them, though. That's nice. So, um, these chaps, you get yourselves over there. Start getting some side shots in. They've got way too many good units here. Yeah, unfortunately, they're just going to chunk straight through us. So, hence, uh, for a short time, we'll shoot these guys down and uh, we'll have to fall back at some point because they are going to do some horrible, horrible damage to us. Now, if you guys change over to fire, start shooting into there. Likewise, you into fire and you into fire. We just need to get all of those lads shooting in there. As for the horse archers, they can finish up their job shooting into those chaps so with all the fire in the world coming in we need all infantry to guard by the way and that gives us a chance steady concerned over their exposed flanks which is yeah surprising but i'm quite pleased with that all things considered now um they are shaken and, yeah they're exposed but they're not quite gonna break are they no they're not now we actually have some some peasants here who managed to hold this off uh, earlier on in the series. Now, I'm not sure if actually uh, that was part of the video or not. I don't know. We've had quite a few battles here. Um, the odd little skirmish. It might have been doing some rebels, actually. I can't really remember. But at this point, we've just got to do as much damage as we possibly can. Now, these three units of horse archers are probably not wanting to get any closer than they already are. So you just kind of pull back a little bit. Uh, likewise, the general, I don't really want you in here properly. I just want you in here enough 
to support the morale. So you guys really should just be shooting at whatever you can. Just some beautiful side shots right now. Um, whatever we can hit, please do hit. Uh, yeah, just make sure those eastern archers up there. Oh! Oh, you... Well, you don't... You're stupid, aren't you? I bet they threw the javelins, didn't they? Oh, that skirmish mode with javelin... Oh, whatever. Anyway, all is fine. Now they're starting to break. All is fine, except they're breaking. Um, this is where we're going to have to fall back. So... You guys fall back. Mm, you, go, mm, you guys fall back. And to be honest, the horse archers probably need to do the same thing as well. So if they can swing themselves over to that side, that'll be absolutely fine. And yeah, you guys, I'm just trying to, yeah, just go over there for now. Just keeps you out of the way of the main bout. So peasants, send the peasants in. Peasants need to just try and hold position for a minute or two. They're just going to allow everyone else to um, get away. They're just going to crowd in a little bit. So, fire arrows doing their job. That's fine. Now, we're going to fall back to the second line, which honestly isn't anywhere near far enough back right now. So, let's just get ourselves some of these swordsmen. Peasants are already broken, which is a little bit unfortunate. All of my raiders, you, oh, you're broken because you managed to catch them, which is not ideal. Fine. Right. All my archers, get yourself back there. Horse archers are in on the flank already. Yeah, you just basically give them the welcome party at this point, and the general fall back to... Not behind the archers, just behind the infantry. We might well need you... Yeah, actually, no. You come over to the flank. You should be absolutely fine. Okay. Everyone run in. Run in, run, 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 run. Okay, at this point, they are very much crowded all together. Few arrows coming in, but it's obviously not going to do an awful lot. 14 to 12 percent. Yeah, we've only actually done 12 percent in them uh, crossing the bridge, but we haven't lost a huge amount to be frank, so that is positive in a way of sorts. Okay, so at this point, let's go and get ourselves some of our men over in this direction. That'll be absolutely fine. You're getting javelined in the back. Um, yeah, in fact, you guys go and hit them. You guys go and hit them because we'll just charge them with these guys. Actually, no, don't, 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 don't. Just uh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about any of that. We just want to hit them at an ideal moment, not at a stupid moment. And again, we've got the same javelin skirmish mode issue over here. We're supposed to be, well, not literally fair, they're not in skirmish mode, but even so, it's still a problem. Um, okay. Da -da 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 -dum. I want, actually couple raiders to just fall back just continue falling back frankly uh senses just hit them general i need you to join the main battle at this point just hit those plumbatari and you sir you're going to just draw yourselves into them just long enough for my cab to try and do something there's two units there they have not done anything like the charge i'd like them to which is most unfortunate. Most unfortunate. Oh uh, well, right, General, you're not really doing the job I wanted you to. Okay, these guys, just skirmish. Just skirmish. You've seen these kind of battles before. A bit of skirmishing often does pretty well. Unfortunately, we're really finding no one is holding for more than a few seconds, which just kind of ruins the whole battle. These guys are going to break as soon as they're anywhere near, so I can't actually send them around the way I'd like to, which is a bit irritating. Um, peasants. Oh, they've they already got us flanked, which is just really not good. Just keep running, lads. Keep running. And uh, these chaps, I don't even know what I want you to do. Just come and support somewhere. Uh, honestly, just anywhere. Just help us, please. Okay, swordsman at this particular position here. You do that. You move back. And you move back. To be honest, we're just going to try a little charge into the flank over here. Just see if we can do anything. We're just going to, yeah, pull away and just skirmish a whole, whole lot of good. So, that is something they just charged in and they are going to instantly break i imagine when i pull them out 
Um, they didn't. That surprised him. Um, so, what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, keep on, keep on fighting. Keep on fighting, lads. Right, you chaps, see what you can do with these guys over here. Uh, we're going to get these guys to shoot him. It'll charge into the back. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's get everyone now to start moving into these chappies. Just keep on pulling further and further away. Uh, you guys get into a position of some sort. You guys just need to get out of there. Why are you running across them? You're just going to get yourselves killed. Just pull out. They're routing. Of course they are. Okay, uh, we did manage to route that unit, which is good news indeed. Everyone over here, just charge them, apart from the general. General, we need you to live and not to do anything stupid, so we're going to worry about that later. Okay, first cohort. It's the first cohort coming in. We're just going to try and get a big flank on it. Lovely, delicious, delicious hit on him there. Right, just pull straight out. We just wanted one hit. Everyone else... I should have slowed him down. Uh, we totally can't do this. Uh, okay, this is getting problematic now. Very, very problematic. I might want to keep my general alive. Five experience on this chap. It, it would be a big shame to, to lose him for no good reason. Uh, get these chats back in this direction here. There are javelins about to come in, aren't there? Certainly looks like it for a moment. Okay. Um, raiders, 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 you hit them. They are spearmen, but I reckon if you get around the back of them, you will break them, because they're not the best unit in the world. Right, let's just get us around on them. We should be able to break them. We have indeed broken that unit there. Perfect. Um, they're charging us, and this is not good. We are way, way too close to the doom line. And these two guys need to get in here. Honestly, just anything we can do. Just hit them all at once. Hit them from every angle. Every possible conceivable. Just don't hit them direct on the front on. There we go. That's a route. Okay, this is good. This is good. This side, we've got a bit of a result there. That's a huge unit. That's the general. Um... What have we got over here? These four units of horse archers. Right. I reckon they need to go mop up that guy over there. These two units just need to get a shot in. As for this side, what I need to do is... These guys are just going to... They're buying us time. Great work. You, get yourself over here. You, get yourself over there. We've got to manage both sides of the battlefield, which could be problematic for us, but... It's sort of doing the job. These swordsmen, for some reason, are absolute heroes and are still around here fighting. They're just buying us a bit of time. Now, oof. okay, these archers are in trouble. Okay, so are they about to be javelined? No, we can't afford that. Can't afford that. To They're gone. Damn and blast. Okay, these guys are a little bit too isolated. We're just going to have to charge in, try and clear them out. I just, if they're routing, I need to get rid of them. That might, though, distract them. Which um, I'm convinced myself is now positive, but it's, it's obviously not. Those, oh, they got themselves caught as well. There's too much going on here. I can't deal with it all at once. Okay, let's see if we can distract them for a moment. Don't think we're going to distract them. Okay, we might just have to charge into these guys. You, run around. What happens? What's the other side? Oh, it's complete madness. Okay, we cleared them out. We cleared them out. That means we're back to all of these cav trying to do something, anything. Essentially, though, they're reloading, which is the problem we've got here. So what I need to do is get some of these cav around that flank. They are an isolated unit. So send two units around like that. And let's get a couple units around the side like this. It's really the only way at this particular part of the battlefield... Um, General, oh, I really don't want this guy to actually hit them, but they are shaken and exhausted. But the horn, that's them broken. That is them broken. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> it's still doable. 
It's still doable, ladies and gentlemen. They need to go over here so that we can try and tease them. The Warlord can just hack them down. And... Oh yeah, this uh, over here, this little charge. This could be bad. Uh, shots in the back, though. That is doing big, big damage. They're eager, but they're panicked by fire, which is perfectly understandable. We are really doing some heavy damage to them right now. They are reloading. Uh, I don't think they're going to hit us because we're running away too quickly. That means more shots into the back. You guys just continue to get around them. They're reloading at us now. Okay. Just need to be... No, no, go! Go, 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 go! Uh, oh, dear. These guys are getting pinned in. Go off, skirmish. You've got to be as quick as possible. We need to try and lure these guys. Get into these lads. You're going to need to do do enough damage to clear these guys out they are eager but they're exhausted turn is that a general did he just get away with it he just got away with that um oh ooh, ooh, ooh. just pull through pull through pull through My general just escaped with his life there um run along the beach run along run over to the beach general just flee and we're piling in over here, shaken, exhausted, and we're breaking. Can't do it. Can't do it. Ah, uh, I had to kind of hope that would work, but it didn't quite work. And with that, they are breaking. No, they're all gone. They're all gone. Ah, oh, that was so close. And unfortunately, the general's a moment too late to get over there and help them out. Because they are going to... Oh, I see that other unit has wandered in their way. I might just, 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 just be able to get my man over there in time. Um, these two units of archers, what, if anything, can they do? I don't know. You guys just stand still. Um, and see if you can get a shot in. Oh, look, they're at the back, the back, the back, the back, the back, the back. All right, like a tiny unit hasn't quite left, but... We have a chance. General's coming in for a charge. Blew the Horn of Destiny now. And just see the flaming arrows there. Done the job. Lovely stuff. Right, you turn back around. Shoot them. Uh, these guys have got themselves killed, unfortunately. But, 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 but. We can now start to uh, play a bit of the trap in this sort of part of the world. Which is good news indeed. So, these guys get these raiders around. These raiders can keep playing the running game. That's fine by me. And this is good. This is good. How much room do they have? You get into the corner there. You get yourself around here. We can start to tease these guys around and hopefully get some shots in from all angles. Don't think we're much up to this point. I think we just have to send everyone into this one unit over here and just hope we can do something to them. General is just going to turn up, blow the Horn of Destiny, hopefully support the effort, but I don't want to send him into his death. Um, that's it, though. That's all we can really do is surround this guy. One final unit of archers in. And with that, if they don't break him, and that's it, we're over. But we're just going to have to chunk in what we can. Because we're out of, these guys are out of arrows. That's kind of it for them at that point. We've done a very good job here. 68% of them gone, 62% of us. We've, um, we've lost the battle, but I reckon we've done what we needed to to hold them back. Actually, they're broken. They are broken. Well done, General. Well done, General. You managed to keep them fighting. We can't win this, but you know what? We can get on top of the next unit. Next unit of Committed Tense's first cohort. And we can try and get around the back of them as well. Actually, Eastern Archers. Can we... Oh, no, they're all broken. They all broke. No... Okay, this might be where we just have to have to call it a day, to be honest. So let's just let's just get the general out of here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was about to withdraw anyway, mate. But okay, you can you can flee in disgrace. I reckon we did a pretty good job there <laughs> against some pretty elite opponents. Um, anyone sh show themselves in glory? The uh, the general did, in fairness. Otherwise, maybe a unit of archers here or there, some set of horse archers here. The odd odd good unit here or there. But in general, in general, that was a battle we expected to lose in. But on the plus side, we've probably done the damage we need to. 
Oh, we will fight another day. In fact, like the, the very next day. So, uh, yeah, they're going to come straight for us, which uh, is an interesting one. But I think, ladies and gentlemen, we'll leave that for next time in our next little epilogue. Because really today we've just... Uh, well, we don't run a British and we've uh, largely dealt with uh, Burgundy Eye and the Celts. But we do have a little bit more mopping up to do before we get to the full-on campaign with the East. Because it hasn't really got going yet here today. So, uh, yes. As these epilogue episodes, they're normally... Um, just come out every so often really when I feel like coming back to play a game so you might want well to see a couple of these uh, at the start if you haven't finished by next time then you know it'll be whenever the next one of these just so happens to feel like coming out so uh, for now we'll leave you I'm Thomas this is the human and this has been a Slavic campaign thank you and goodbye no not again how did you lose to the archers anyone who's already got children They've just been killed. Filthy pilchards, the lot of you. Oh, <laughs> Steve. You were the best of all the Steves. Rum, pa, 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 pa.